Unofficial returns show Democrats winning some big prizes in Arizona, with presidential nominee Joe Biden and Senate candidate Mark Kelly both leading in the state. But after that, it was a mixed bag, a bag that has only gotten more mixed as vote counting continues. I don't think there's a permanent realignment to blue. Rose was not the only analyst who, when asked about a blue wave, responded along the lines of, yeah, but... Early Democratic leads have evaporated in several races, the biggest being Democrat Harold Tippernity, challenger of Congressman David Schweiker in District 6. After leading on election night, she now trails by almost 12,000 votes. That's not to say there were not Democratic gains. Maricopa County, uh, Democrats uh, took control of the County Board of Supervisors for the first time in uh, at least 50 years. There were two Republican supervisor districts that would, in, in any other year, would have stayed Republican, and they both got beat. Democrats are also on track to pick up one seat in the state Senate and hold their own in the state House. There will still be minorities in both chambers, but just barely. And if Kelly's lead holds, this would be the first time Arizona has sent two Democratic senators to Washington in nearly 70 years. It does speak to um, the shifting demographics of Arizona, Maricopa County in particular, but it also speaks to what, how good of a candidate Mark Kelly was. Meanwhile, Biden has seen his lead over President Donald Trump dwindle, and nothing is official until the counting is over, and likely legal challenges are exhausted. If Arizona ends up being the Florida of this presidential election cycle and it all comes down to Arizona, uh, what, a, what a crazy historic moment that is for our state. Maricopa County also had a large surge of Democratic voters this year. Impressive, but part of what analysts are calling more of a bluish wave for the state. And it will take more than that to wipe away Arizona's deep red, Bent says. There was a blue wave, but Republicans were ready on the beach with some sandbags and were batting down the hatches to be ready for the wave. In Washington, Carolina Hassett, Cronkite News.